Hey guys, in this tutorial we're going to look at making a chassis in Creo. This method um, for making the chassis is sort of just what I came up with reverse engineering the inventor model from the last uh, year's chassis. So just in general an overview, we uh, make sure we're in a new assembly because we want to use the framework tool. Then we put our datum planes in so that ref references where all our sketches are going to uh, exist. Then we'll put in our sketches and points, so they'll be in 2D planes, reference to our datum planes. And then we'll connect them up uh, in 3D using datum curves. I'll probably make this in multiple videos, and I won't make the whole chassis. I'll probably just make a section of the front uh, with uh, one of the roll hoops, so you can see what a curved framework member looks like making that. Um, as well as one of the uh, probably side uh, member sections just so we can go over some notching again uh, even though I've covered it in other videos. Alright, so I've got Creo open here and it doesn't matter what order you do it in but again I, I reverse engineered this from um, an existing model uh, so we're just going to go from the way that I did it. There are many ways to skin a cat. So first I'm going to put in a datum plane uh, for the main roll hoop mid height. That's going to be referenced off the uh, top um, plane here, default plane. And that's going to be 500mm um, off the sort of ground. Uh, in, in the model I've used this, this horizontal top plane as the ground plane. So, and we're going to go to properties. Remember we need to name our things intrinsically with useful names. Uh, when you are in this field here, uh, you don't have to put the underscores that, that Creo usually requires, um, but you'll probably end up with the habit anyway. Alright, and we're going to put in at the moment we're doing all our vertical height um, planes and then we'll put in our, uh, our sort of forward translation uh, planes. So now we're going to put in the lowest member height and that's going to be 60 mil reference from the ground. Again the ground being this ASM top plane. Now we're going to put in our upper side impact height. Again, reference from the ground. Or whatever the rules may be for that one. If you forget to name them, you can just open them up again. Properties, you can also rename them in the tree by right clicking and hitting rename or highlighting them and then pressing F2 on the keyboard and then renaming them. Alright, now we're going to start putting um, some of the like XY plane uh, reference planes in. Uh, and in the model I've put the roll hoop on the, um, on the center plane. The ASM underscore right plane. So that's where I've set the roll hoop. So the front of the car is to the left of here and the, the rear of the car to the right. You can do whatever you want. If you wanted a different plane in there, you could do that, uh, but I chose not to. So now we'll put in the front roll hoop plane and we're dimensioning it off or referencing it off that ASM right plane. And it's 880 mil. Then we'll put in our intermediate uh, bulkhead plane. Now you could reference these off, uh, you know, the intermediate bulkhead plane is going to exist. Um, maybe I'll put it in and then it'll be easier to see. So 
So you could reference the intermediate bulkhead plane off uh, the front hoop plane and you could do that for all your planes but then what you end up with is a series of things that as soon as you change one all the other dimensions change probably in a way that you didn't want them to and so you'll have to go back and individually edit all of them whereas if we have them all have a common reference and we dimension them away from the reference then you don't get those sort of um, error propagation kind of changes through it it's not error propagation but hopefully you understand what I mean so we're going to put in our front bulkhead <clears throat> Then our front suspension plane. So really that's, this is all the a chassis is, you know, there's some things that determine when things happen at certain heights. Um, for example, lowest member height. There's some things that determine how far away from a, a central section or uh, well, the main roll hoop in our case, things will happen. Um, so, you know, our front suspension sort of exists in between the front roll hoop and the intermediate bulkhead. Um, and so that, it's, it's all fairly logical. All right, in the next video, uh, we'll go into actually placing some of the sketches in.